Good morning. Hey. Hi. What was it like to see the first episode last night? Well, I saw one of them. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, we the cast and crew and Amarillo were filming. We saw it, and that I'm glad I saw it then, so I could save some of the uh, you know the waterworks. Let leave it in Amarillo and just enjoy it now. But it was great watching it. I had my family there, I had my friends, and just with a whole new set of eyeballs that wasn't the cast and crew and hearing their reactions, it, it seems, you know, it seems like people, people liked it. We definitely enjoyed it. Thank you. Yeah. Well, Monica, good morning. Thanks for uh, being here today. You know, looking at all your roles and even you, you've got super heroes and super villains under your belt, literally loved your portrayal of the anti-monitor from the crisis oh. series back then. So it was Thank a little you. jarring seeing you on horseback going, look at the monitor, man, he's doing his thing, but yeah. you yeah. know, this is a Taylor Sheridan production. And can you talk a little bit about the physicality of literally saddling up for this role? It's tough. Physically, like the cowboy culture, I had no idea how how demanding it was physically from sun up to sundown. It's outside every day, and that's its own challenge. Hot, cold, whatever climate you're in. And you're on horses, and sometimes your horse doesn't want to cooperate today. They have their own personalities. And that could make things tough. And it's, you know, it's just, um, it's a hard lifestyle, but it, it, shooting Westerns in itself is a challenge, but as hard as it is over here, it's as beautiful when it comes to the screen because it just, outside nature, to me, nature was the, the leading character in this show. The, the mountaintops, the rivers, the, and the cast fills along, you know, to, to round it out. But it is, it is tough. Hello. Um, I was wondering about the relationship with Shay because you guys clearly have a major backstory. And I'm I'm wondering what you can tell us about that. They served together in the uh in the Civil War. Uh but he was Shay was a he was a captain and Thomas is a Buffalo soldier. And when the war was over, the requirements for Buffalo soldiers turned into something different than what they originally signed up for. And, you know, Thomas and Shay were like, we didn't sign up. These people aren't doing anything to us. Like they kind of let's it's time to leave. So they kind of went their own way and they became Pinkerton agents. So the right hand knows what the left is doing. Shay and Thomas, they could sit at a campfire for for hours and not say a word, but they're saying everything. They just know each other. They're brothers, they're best friends. And it. Uh, when I met Sam, when I first before we started working, when it was in cowboy camp, he came and like he embraced me and we hit it off right away. So any nerves I had because I'm about to be opposite Sam Elliott for a season, they all just drained right out with his just kindness and his presence and his just being who he is. But yeah, it, it started on cam it started off camera and then it it led over into when we, when we were filming. I know you did a lot of research into this role. Uh you find surprising uh, i growing up watching westerns you watched all the shows you watched the bonanzas you you know the raw hides the gun smokes and i loved them and my mom loved them. we you know wagon train the virginian and you don't realize growing up that you didn't really see people that look that look like you on these shows you just it just was what it was so doing the research and you realize the how the representation that wasn't there all throughout these years in a genre that I love, it's like, wow, there's never been a, huh, I never, I never noticed. But now that you notice it, it, it's huge. Like you see this, this gaping hole that we weren't a part of and you didn't really notice it before growing up. You just didn't know, but doing the research and, and then being, you know, the one to tell this story of a strong black cowboy in this genre, in this time period, more importantly, is, is special to me and I'm, you know, that's one of the main reasons why I, I jumped on this role. Hey, LaMonica, good morning. Hey, how you doing? Good, man. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, just from one gentleman to another, I have to say, man, you and Sam Elliott, when you suit up, you guys, everyone looks great on this show, but there is something about the look that's achieved for you and Thomas and Shay. That's just, I mean, it's spot on. What was it like putting that costume on for the first time, man? 
it, it takes you to a different place, man. Just the, the Buffalo soldier, like the sergeant, you know, it's, you put that on, it, it, it hit me a certain way when we were in Fort Worth and there was, uh, you know, it was hundreds of uh, background actors and we're all around and, you know, we're hanging out and a handful of the, the black background actors came up to me and they said like, hey man, how does it feel? You know, how, how does it feel to wear the Buffalo Soldier's jacket? And it already, I already knew that it was significant, but just knowing what it means to not just myself, but so many other people and to, to represent it in a, in a strong manner, you know, this guy that has these principles and he's, you know, he has this honor to himself and the way he carries himself, it, it, yeah, it, it's easy to, to get up and work when you have, when you have that to work with. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. So I wanted to ask you about the Pinkerton agency and what sort of things you learned about that when you were doing research and what else sort of come into the show. Uh, Pinkertons, they were one of the first agencies to hire, you know, to hire black people to be a part of the, and they were one of the first agencies, agencies to hire women. And I was like at that time period, that's another thing that was, you know, that was, that was a big deal back then. And they were the original secret service. They protected Abraham Lincoln, not when John Wilkes Booth was there, but before there was another attempt on his life and they were there and pretty much Abraham Lincoln's uh, vouching for them as this, you know, this big agency. They were bigger than the military back then because of Abraham Lincoln's vouching for them. So they were huge back then and they were they have a rich history all throughout, you know, through this country. I didn't know any of that stuff, but yeah, that that's the research and it's amazing. I'm but uh, just a follow up to my previous question was you hit the nail on the head, but the history of that jacket. You know, not yeah. only does it look fantastic on you, but uh, you come from California, correct? So that it's yeah. kind of that growing up and everything. You, I'm sure you heard about the South and all this history and you see all the Westerns and there's there's no representation there. But then you do the research and there is so much incredible black history all through this period. Yeah. And to be able to put on that suit and represent that, I just wanted to know if there was a, like that a moment on set with you and Sam Elliott where just everything kind of came together. And you were like, this is, this is it. I, I don't know if I had, I had that moment from the moment I stepped foot on Taylor's ranch and we started cowboy camp. Like I knew it was going to be a big deal. And then you start hearing more announcements like, you know, from within our little community of like, you know, this person got cast in this role. Like, Oh, wow. This person got cast. This person's going to work over here. And you start seeing how big it's going to get. So it wasn't one big thing. It was just a, it just, it started out big for me and then it kept getting bigger. So for me, it's, it would be overwhelming if I look at it like I'm the, you know, these are some heavy hitters in, in the acting world. I'm just going to focus on bringing Thomas to life and doing it justice for, like you said, you know, representation where every one in every four cowboys throughout the 1800, you know, we're black, we're black cowboys yeah. and every, Every show I've seen, I haven't seen any, you know, growing up. So it's like we were there. And if I just focus on that, the other stuff will fall into place. Absolutely. Thank you, man. It's fantastic yep. so far. We can't wait to see the rest of it. Thank you. I just wanted to hear a little bit more about um, some of the conditions, because I know you mentioned last night you guys had to shut down because of a 60 mile an hour windstorm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, being in Montana, it was, you know, 60, 70 mile per hour winds. It was 15, 20 degrees. You're outside every day. Uh, the horses know when bad weather's coming. So if you have a shootout, they're not participating how they should. It's just, it makes it bad for everybody. And my suit, my jacket is wool. My chaps are like 10 pounds. I got three layers underneath. I got a bandolero strapping me down. Like of all the cast, they just throw as much stuff on Thomas and on Thomas's. Like I have half a, you know, city on my horse, like everything that we don't know where to put. Let's put it on Thomas and his horse King. And you're in a hundred degree weather in, in Fort Worth and Weatherford and, you know, in the middle of summer in Texas, it's brutal. And it just kept getting brutal. And we're going back to probably a brutal situation now, but it looks beautiful. And that's, you know, that's, that's the end goal.